Richard Trebo for the Ripkel Free Ride Pro 2010, brought to you by Power Balance. Well, the mountains went off the last couple of days with 15 cents of fresh yesterday and bluebird conditions today. There's a few internationals peppered through the cream of the Aussie crop. They're going to be running the qualifiers for the Opens today and taking the juniors all the way through to the finals. The course is buffer. Let's go see what they got. Last year and the conditions are much better. Uh, we had snow and wind last uh, last 48 hours and uh, Mother Nature cut it off. It's a fun playground just on the mountain that anyone can ride, you know? Very good bone off the neck uh, about six weeks ago, so I'm just frothing to be skiing again. And uh, yeah, good to have fun. On this uh, course, there's like two or three spots where you kind of got to hit it if you want to do any good. And one of them is that rock. So uh, I just thought, I don't know, go fast, don't pop too much, and be as strong as you can on the landing, but I still got hosed. Well, we're up here at Threadbo for the 2010 Ripkel Throwdown presented by Power Balance. As you can see behind me, the weather is absolutely torrential, but it hasn't stopped all the competitors getting up there and throwing down for that four grand in prize money. The course is super unique to Australia. Let's go check it out. I've just found the sweet spot now, so hopefully we get a couple of good ones. And either way, glad we got a nice event. And game on. The course is like uh, this fun, it's got good features and whatever. You're not really thinking about the weather, you're just thinking about the tricks you're doing, so it's all good times. It's quite unique, um, you won't see it anywhere else, you know, at any other hill, something like this. I think you've got to be versatile and sort of switch it up and hit every feature and uh, just try and land on your feet and stay solid.
McDonald's at the Rip Cow Free Ride Pro 2010 presented by Power Balance up here at Trebo has been cancelled due to pretty bad weather conditions up the top of the mountain. To determine the winners, they've gone back to the qualifying days and taken the highest scoring runs from the day. Let's go have a look at some of the highlights right now. I loved it. Uh, every year I come back and it's so much fun. There's always so many little kits and stuff you can find that's like that you didn't know were there last time. Yeah, it paid off. It was great. The comp's definitely unique. It's actually really fun. It's um, a lot different to any of the others. Picking your own lines and being a bit creative. I've run uh, two years in a row now, so I'm really stoked with winning again. Well, it's pretty special. I really like the competition outside of the park. It's kind of the skiing that I've really been enjoying. Very happy. The course up, up top was definitely challenging. Um, snow wasn't ideal, but it was good fun and um, got to ride with some cool crew, so I'm stoked. Coming out to Australia, it's um, my, only my second time coming out here snowboarding. Back out here for the Ripshill Free Ride Pro, and it's been awesome. Loved it. Well that's it for the Rip Curl Free Ride Pro 2010 presented by Power Balance. Pity they didn't get to run the finals day, but congratulations goes to all the winners. Anyways, sign off from Threadboat, we'll see you next year.